Hey everyone, it's Katie from Addicted to DIY, and today I am partnering with my friends from DAP Products to show you how I added a beautiful statement piece to this empty dining room wall. A few years ago, I remodeled my dining room, but just haven't done anything to this blank wall at the end of my table. I actually bought these mirrors with the intent of doing something on that wall, but they've been sitting for a couple of years and I just couldn't decide what to do until now. So stick around as I show you exactly what I made. I grabbed six of the mirrors and laid them out on my workbench to measure them. I lined them up in two rows of three and measured the width and the height and wrote it that down. I'll also link to these mirrors from Amazon in my description below. These mirrors also had little foam dots on them, so I peeled those off the backs before I got started on anything else. I'm cutting a geometric design that I found and purchased from Etsy, so I opened up Lightburn and imported the file I wanted to use. Initially, I was going to make six individual mirrors, but I kept thinking that I might not like that overall look, so I decided to make one big mirror instead. I sized the file to be 12 inches by 12 inches so that it would match the size of the mirrors. I then used the grid array tool to duplicate the file to create my panel. Once all six tiles were created, I nudged them to where the borders were overlapping each other, and then I selected the entire panel and clicked the Weld tool to make one large panel. I wanted to make sure that all the inner cuts were made before the border was cut, so I selected the entire design and ungrouped it. I then selected just the border and made that a new layer. I edited the cut settings to the power and speed I use on my laser and ensured that everything else was correct. It's also important to make sure that the border layer is last in line to be cut, so it needs to be underneath the blue layer, which is the small cuts, in the window to the right. I loaded a two foot by four feet sheet of quarter inch maple into my laser to get started with the cut. If you don't have a laser this size, you can definitely size down the file or even keep it as individual tiles. I aligned the plywood to the gantry and clamped it down as it was a tiny bit warped. And then I set my focus and went back to my laptop. At my laptop, I took the measurements I had written down and resized my design. I double checked everything and framed the design to make sure that it cut exactly where I wanted it to on the plywood. After that, I hit start and let the laser do its work. When the design was finished, I pulled it out of the laser and took it back to my workbench to stain. I chose golden oak stain for this as it was the closest match to my dining room table. I stained the entire panel and let it dry for a few hours. To attach the mirrors, I flipped the panel over and used my DAP Rapid Fuse all-purpose adhesive to attach the mirrors. Rapid Fuse bonds to virtually everything and has an extremely fast dry time. It can set in as little as 30 seconds, which also means you need to be very careful when gluing items together. I should also note that after gluing all of the mirrored panels together, I kind of regret not staining the backside because you do see a bit of the reflection of the unstained plywood on the mirror. So 
In the future, if I were to do this again, I would probably stain also the back side of the mirror so that way all of the colors are the same. One by one, I kept adding rapid fuse to the design and attaching each mirror, making sure that everything was properly secured. Then adding a little bit of weight to the back of the mirrors just to this secure them for the few seconds it took for the glue to set. A few minutes later, I was able to flip the design over and start working on the frame and backing. For the backing, I used a piece of scrap 3 8 inch plywood and trimmed it down to size on my table saw. To attach the plywood backer to the back side of the mirrors, I once again used Rapid Fuse all-purpose adhesive. I applied it to each mirror tile and then carefully set the backing in place, making sure to quickly align all of the edges before it's set. I also want to make a quick note about this project. If you don't have a laser, do not let that stop you from building this project. You can easily glue these mirrored panels to a plywood backer and then use 3 quarter inch square dowels and cut them to length and create a grid pattern or mitered patterns or whatever you like and simply use rapid fuse to glue it to the mirrors. So definitely do not let the lack of a laser hold you back from building something like this. Because this piece of plywood was also just the tiniest bit warped, I used weights again on the corners and in the middle to make sure that everything sat completely flat down onto the mirror backs. I used 1x2 pine for the frame and cut it down to pieces a couple inches longer than I needed. Back at my table saw, I set it up to cut a rabbit into the 1x2 boards. I set the blade height to the thickness of the mirror panel, which was 5 8 inch thick, and set the fence at 1 quarter inch. I ran all of the edges of the 1x2s through the saw for the first cut. Next, I set my fence at one half inch, and this would account for the eighth inch kerf of the saw blade to, and make a 5 8 inch wide cut. I made my first cut and realized I didn't reset the blade height, but fortunately it didn't cut all the way through and I was able to still salvage that piece. I set my blade height to the correct height of 3 8 inch and then cut the remaining 1 by 2s to create the rabbit. Back at my workbench, I confirmed sizing once again and then started cutting the 1x2s at a 45 degree angle to fit around the panel. With these frame pieces having a rabbit in them, I needed to subtract that from the overall length that they needed to be cut. In this case, I doubled the 3 8 inch depth of the rabbit, which means I cut the pieces 3 quarters of an inch shorter than the overall length and width of the panel. This would allow them to fit onto the panel but still have all of the 45 degree angles line up tight together. To attach the frame to the panel, I used DAP Weldwood Instant Adhesive. It's a super fast curing wood adhesive, which sets in seconds and cures in 30 minutes. I also added one and a quarter inch pin nails to the secure the pieces together while the glue cured. Once the frame was finished, I gave it a final sanding to clean up the corners, and then it was time to stain it. I actually normally stain prior to attaching the frame, but then there are always touch-ups that need to be made, and so I decided to change it up this time. It worked well for this application since the panel was also stained in the same color. After I finished staining the frame, I wiped off any excess and let it dry overnight. 
Now this blank wall finally feels complete with this beautiful statement piece. Be sure to check the description below for all the details on this project as well as a video link for the dining room table. Thanks for watching.